Hello guys, my name is Sonu Kumar and welcome to my channel TACAC. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can unlock the FRP of Samsung Galaxy Z531F. It is a grand prime 4G cell phone. So how to unlock FRP or Google account some people call it. So let me start from the initialization point. So I've just hard reset this cell phone and this cell phone is a Google account locked right now. So how to unlock this so simply just touch on start skip and you need to connect your wireless connection it should be a 3g or 4g depends on your requirement okay now let me type my password my password is five two three four five six seven eight yeah eight times five connect and you should have a working internet connection plus Wi-Fi so I'm using Geo4G right now click on next and yes I understand and agree to the term and condition above next and it will validate the last Google account that was synchronized with the device if the if the Google account, I mean, if the last person, I mean, added the Google account, so it will ask you to enter the password of the last person Google account. Simply, we don't have a, I mean, password of the Google account of the last person. So simply, what we need to do, we need to bypass this lock. You're checking information. It will take a little bit of time. Okay, finally we got it and it is asking for email or password and next person I mean sorry next button is turned off right now so we cannot touch on next we need to enter Google account of the last person and plus password then we can unlock the cell phone so in this situation what I'm going to do I'm going to bypass this lock using OTG cable and I can also bypass this lock using I mean call functionality of Samsung using real term tool but let me show you a simple technique to bypass FRP lock so what we need to do we need to we need we need to have a PC and we need to we need to have the one more thing that, that's called a USB pen drive it may be around 4 gig or 8 gig and you need to have a OTZ cable so it simply means that you need to have a USB pen drive plus OTG cable. So let me come to the PC. So finally, what we need to do on PC, we need to copy, I mean, Google Account Manager 5.1, ES File Explorer, and Root Junkie FRP Wipers 1.0 APK. So I'm gonna insert my USB pen drive. It should be 4 gig or 8 gig as I told you in the video. So simply what we need to do is my pen drive 8 gig and simply you need to copy some application Android stuff Android stuff and FRP remove kit tool. This is my FRP I mean FRP remove kit tool don't match with it. So I have a Google account manager 5.1, 6.0.1, 7.0, 7.1.1, 7.1, EX file explorer, FRP bypass application old, and quick shortcut manager. I can also bypass the FRP of Samsung, any Samsung Galaxy or any cell phone using quick shortcut manager. But really is old fashioned, so I don't use it. And I have root junkie FRP that's a very very important application I you need to have this application in your USB hand drive to unlock FRP of any cell phone you want to unlock so simply just I have a Samsung Galaxy Grand Prime 4G cell phone it contains I mean it have lollipop 5.1 so that's why I'm just going to copy Google account manager 5.1 
send to I mean copy simply I need to copy some I mean Google account manager 5.1 ex file explorer and root junkie frp bypass and plus frp bypass application this frp bypass application is different and root junkie frp bypass application is different let's copy it and we use frp bypass application for samsung devices so actually if you, you will install this application it will directly i mean bring you in settings of any android cell phone so just copy this for application and simply paste in your pen drive okay application paste it just exact your pen drive and now you can insert this pen drive in your I mean cell phone so let's do it on so simply I'm just copied application in my pen drive Google account manager ES file explorer and root junk FRP bypass application so simply just you need to insert this OTG I mean pen drive in it OTG cable okay simple so I have OTG your short OTG so simply just you need to insert this OTG in phone okay then, yes and just wait to open here you can see simply this pen drive it it is automatically opening in your cell phone so it lets you to install third-party application easily so what we can do here simply we can install our application modify application third-party application so here what we need to do we need to install root junkie settings and go and I need to allow unknown sources okay next I'm going to directly unlock FRP using Google account I will add my Google account to this device so I can easily so simply you need to type Google account and my Google account is S H I V S H A N K E R K A R sorry is a K A R Chip <coughs> Shankar zero fifteen zero fifteen okay just click I mean touch on next and simply it will validate your Google account and type your password here simply just touch on sign in and it will add your Google account to this device just wait for 15 to 20 seconds and it will be done one moment please it is adding my Google account to this device so we don't need the old Google account of the last person that the device was synchronized sign in, in. to do so you need to have a OTG plus USB drive and some application as I showed you in a video in working internet connection so my Google account has been added successfully to this device now I can restart restart the device and exact the U USB I mean OTZ cable
now it will simply add my Google account So here just start, skip, next and next and you will see here it will add my Google account date and you can see this message this is a very very good message right here you can see account added your first account is account is ready for use you can add an remove accounts later in settings so my new account has been added to this device so i don't need a old google account of the last person that the device was synchronized with the last google account simply next just second and if it is asking for i mean backup or restore so simply just set up as a new device you can see up here you can see set up as a new device you need to touch on it otherwise it will take some data from the last devices and it will insert the data in the new devices simply set as set up as a new device done and next if you want to set lock screen you can otherwise skip skip anyway and if you don't want to back up your phone apps app data setting just untouch it i mean next simply if you have a Samsung account you can add otherwise just skip this option it will take a little bit of time and skip skip finish and now you can remove this account from settings simply just go to settings and go to the account section go to the google and touch on the account and touch on three dots you can see up right here and remove account remove account and my account has been removed from the device and my device is ready to use right now so thank you and keeps watching my videos and keep subscribed thank you